Hmm. Ikatlong marka ang pagsusulit. Math grade 3. So, math grade 3, third vertical test. So, pangalan, Pinoy Liit. Subscribe kayo guys. Subscribe and like. Uh, we will do all of this. From grade 1 to grade 6. From first uh, exam to the fourth to the finals. Kumbaga. So, ibigay ang fraction ng sumusunod. So, assume natin yung, yung shaded part would be yung top. Tsaka yung unshaded would be the bottom. Ah, oh, so anyway, yung, yung, yun. <laughs> yung numerator is yung top. Tama ba? Numerator denominator. Oh my gosh! Nakalimutan ko yung math. Okay, number one. Ah, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 12. There's, there are 12. Parang mali yung zoom. There are 12 in total. Oh my gosh, ilan yung 12. Ayan. So, ilan yung shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6. 6, 12. Or, that's basically 1 half. Ba? Okay, so, 4 of 4 is shaded. Or 1. Ba? So, 4 is shaded out of the 6. So, that's uh, 4, 6. So, divide it by 2 of each. So, 2, 4, that's 2. 2, 4, 6, that's 3. So, 2 thirds. Yan. Diba? Kasi, dalawa yung na-shade out of the 3. So, 2 thirds. Yan. Okay. Bilugan ng titik ng tamang sagot. Sa so 4, 7, ang 4 ay tinatawag na numerator. Ayan. Tama ako kanina. <laughs> ano ang nawawalang bilang sa blank 8 upang maging katumbas ng isang buo? So, 8 of 8 would be 1. ba? Like, same dito, 4 of 4. So, 8 of 8. So, yung muka niyan would be this. 8 of 8 or 1. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Uh, ang 3 9, 5 9, 6 9, 7 9 ay tinatawag na blank fractions. Hindi naman yan equal to 1. Bale na yan. Hindi naman yan greater than 1. At saka hindi naman yan similar. So, this similar? Eh? Ako sure. Proceed tayo. Test 2. Okay. Patukuin kung ang fractions ay similar o dissimilar. O, oh, ayan. Diba? Ayan. Introduce na. Okay. Uh, I-shortcut na lang S for similar. Dissimilar for D. Para na mahaba yung pagsulat. So, 5, 10, 3, 10, 4, 7, 8, 10. So, dissimilar. Ah, okay. Gets ko na yung similar at saka dissimilar. Since may example dito na iba, so, most likely, similar fraction ang tawag nito. So, letter A. Pag dissimilar, yung bottom, yung denominator, would be iba. O, oh, diba? Diba? Yan yung clue na binigay dito. Okay, uh, next one, uh, 2 thirds, 4 fifths, 6, 7, 3, 7. So, may 5 yung isa, may 2 thirds pa. So, this similar. Uh, 4, 12, 4, 10, 4, 15, 4, 15. Huh. Now, ako natuloy ang nawala. <laughs> Kasi lahat ng numerator pareha. Would that be a factor na similar siya or dissimilar? And then, the bottom... 4, 8, 12. That's 1, 4, 8, 12. 1, 3, 4, 8, 12. Tama ba? And then, 4, 2. I don't know. Wala niya. 4, 4, 5. 92, 4, 2. 2, 5. Wala. 2, wala. Wala. So, hmm. Let's go with this similar then. Guys, if I'm wrong, go with it. Wala. <laughs> okay. Uh, 2, 7. Ah, uh, hindi ko ito binabasa beforehand. Okay. So, this is uh, biglaan, kumbaga. Hindi ako prepared to answer this and get per a perfect score, kumbaga. So, number 10, 2, 7, 3, 7, 7 over 2 and 7 over 3. Dissimilar. Okay. Parang wala namang similar. Siguro ito, pwede maging similar. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, proceed tayo. At least gets you na yung ma lalabas possible sa map. Okay, tukuyin kung ang fraction ay less than 1, equal to 1, or greater than 1. Okay, 9 fourth, so that's greater than 1 kasi mas mataas yung, yung, sa ta yung numerator kaysa denominator. 
A2, greater than 1 din, greater than 1. Ayan. Uh, 3, 6, that's less than 1, kasi 1 half yan. Uh, less than 1. 5, 5, that's 1. Okay, equal to 1. Equal to 1, sorry. Equal to 1. Paghambingin ang sumusunod gamit ang less than, greater than, at saka equal uh, symbols. So, 9, 9, uh, i-compare. Okay, 9, 9 is great. Okay, is less than 2. Kasi 1 yan. 6, 6 is equal to 1. 4, 6, uh, 2, 4, that's 2. 2, 4, 6, 2 sides. So, equal. 2 sides din yan. 8, 4 is uh, greater than 4, 8. Kasi 1 half. 1 half ito. So, ayan. Mas taas na yan sa 1. Okay. Uh, test 3. Pag sunod-sunurin mula sa pinakamaliit papuntang pinama, pinakamalaki gamit ang A to D. Ah, okay. So, A, letter A, B, C, D, kanya natin. Uh, so, the highest would be greater than 1, obviously. Gamitin ang pinakamaliit. Okay. So, A would be the lowest, B would be the greatest. So, um, 6, 3, that's 2. So, that would be D. Diba? Yan yung last. 1 fifth ito 1 half ito din 1 half ito pero mas marami yung shaded uh, yung values nya mas marami so this will be C this will be B and ito yung A o ayan diba ito yung pinakikli 1 fifth and then 3 six, 1 half ok A then 1 half then 3 six, then D diba ok let's proceed uh huh? all sixes so, obviously, yung pinakamataas is yung pinakamataas na denominator. Yung pinakamababa would be pinakabababa. And then, so on and so forth na rin. Ah, diba? Kasi pag i-draw natin yan, yan, tama ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, ah, mali. Okay, adjust na lang natin. Adjust na lang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, mali, mali, mali. I-redraw natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan, 6. So, yung 6, 6, shaded. Shaded lahat yan, ba? Yung 4, 6. Ayan, yan yung 4, 6. I-shade natin yung 4 parts. Ayan, yan yung 4, 6. Yung 2, 6, dalawa lang yung shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh my gosh, never mind. Never mind. Ignore, ignore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry na lang basta anyway since parehas na naman yung denominators nila at saka uh, this is at smallest to the greatest yung top na lang yung i-compare mo ito naman medyo tricky lang ok ayan ah, meron pala nag drop ako iguhit ang sumusunod so 5 8 so 5 8 that's 4 6 8. Tama ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5, 8. So, it means 5 out of 8 areas are, are used or shaded or whatever um, term na gamitin eaten or whatever. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 out of 8. That's 5, 8. So, 8 of 5. This is tricky kasi i-convert mo pa ito. Uh, that would be 1 and uh, ilan yung naiwan? Tatlo, di ba? Three-fifths. Tama? It's one and three-fifths. Oo, kasi five times one is five plus three is eight. So, eight over five. That's one and three-fifths. So, one and three-fifths. So, this is one. Shaded na yan. That's one. Three out of five. So, five shades. So, it's one, two, three, Five. So, ayan. So, example lang yan ha. So, uh, 3 out of 5. Ayan. ayan. So, that's 1 and 3 fifths. Or, 8 out of 5. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Nakabahan ako sa higher mass. Grade 3 pa lang. Nagpo-post na ako. Naku. Kunang, kunang. Okay. Magbigay ng katumbas na fractions. Oh, so, equivalent fractions. O, oh, 3 fourths. Okay, so, yung gagawin mo is, i-multiple mo lang siya, for example, at 3 fourths times 2 mo, 
yung both, di ba? So, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8. Then, do it again, 3 fourths, pero 3 naman. So, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, so 9 twelfths. Same din, 4, 4 naman, 4, 4. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12, uh, 4 times 4 is 16, 4, 8, 12, 16. So, ayan, similar yan lahat. Okay, same with 5, 8, so 5 times 2 is 10, 8 times 2 is 16. So, 5 times 3 again. So, sa 3 naman. 5 times 3 is 15. Uh, 8 times 3 is 8, 12, 16. Ah, uh, wait. 8, 16, 24. Sorry, what happened? 16, 24. Sorry. 8, 16, 24. Tama ba? 8, 16. 16, 17, 18, 19, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. Nako. Parang lip, lipong. <laughs> so, that's 3. So, 4 na naman. 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 4 is 8, 16, 24, 32. Oh, ayan. Ayan! Boom! Sagutin ang sumusunod na puzzle. Okay. Asan yung puzzle? <laughs> Ako ang kasunod na even number kapag pinagsama ang 35 at 42. Ako ang kasunod na even number kapag pinagsama ang 35 at 42. So, pinagsama is add? Not sure. Pinagsama is total, di ba? Parang ganun yun, di ba? So, 35 plus 42 is uh, 7, 7, 77. So, siya ang next na even number. So, 77. Next na even number, 78. Kapag pinagsama ang add number at isa pang add number, ang sagot ay even number. Tama yan. Kasi, for example, 1 plus 1, that's dalawang add, even yung labas. Oh, nalaglag. <laughs> why? Why? Nalaglag siya. Okay, nalaglag. Okay, so, where was I? Ah, uh, 1 plus 1. Okay, so, for example, 1 plus 3. Dalawang add, 4. Yan. Uh, ano pa? Um, uh, 5 plus 3. O, oh, dalawang add number, 8. Oh, even, di ba? So, yan. Rule na yan. Uh, anong even number ang nauna kapag pinagsama ang 12 at 24 at binawasan ng 5? So, ano yung lalabas yan? 12 plus 24 at binawasan at binawasan ng 5. So, yan yung gagawin natin. So, 12 plus 24, 6, 3, minus 5, is 1, 31. So, 31. Anong even number ang nauna kapag pinagsama? So, nauna sa 31. Hmm, 30. Nauna means before siya, di ba? Before. So, I think 30 yung sagot. I hope so. So, test 4. Pag-aralan ng figure, sagutin ang sumusunod. Okay. Parang mata siya, no? A, B. Okay. Asan yung C? Wala. Ah, okay. A, B, whatever. Alin ang parallel lines? Ah, okay. So, parallel line would be L, K. Ganyan, di ba? At, um, G, M. G, M. Yan yung parallel lines. Hindi ko alam kung at ba or... Hmm. Anyway, ito yung parallel lines. GM is parallel. Alin ang intersecting lines? So, intersecting lines. So, nag-stab siya. Bam! Ganyan. So, A, S. Alin ang A, S. Uh, intersecting din yung L, K. Intersecting din yung GM. GM. Ah, okay, tama. Alin ang perpendicular lines? So, perpendicular is ganyan, tapos ang ganyan. Tama ba? Hmm. Tricky, a little tricky. Part ba to? Kung baka separate ito, hindi ba pwede maganyan? I don't think so. Hmm. Alin ang perpendicular lines? So, L at saka R, ganyan. G at saka B. G at saka S. G at saka W. G at saka X. So, hindi ako sure. Proceed na lang tayo. Ibigay ang mga line segments. So, line segments. Line segments yan yung hindi continuous na ano, di ba parang RB. Uh, hindi ako sure. A, A R, uh, B, S. 
Ah, uh, uh, WX. So yon, hindi ko na lang sagutin. Ano ang tawag sa WX? So baka line segment yung term. Hindi ako sure if I'm if alam niyo yung sagot, i-comment na lang guys. Ah, uh, okay, tukuin ang congruent o hindi congruent. Oh my gosh, nakalimutan ko na. Ano yung congruent? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, congruent. Ah, oh my god. Max. Okay, 33. Congruent lines ba yan? Baka. Hindi ako sure. Or 34. Congruent lines ba yan? Hindi. <laughs> AB at BD. An ano yan? AB at saka AB at saka BD. Parang ganun, di ba? So, hindi. Since continuous naman to, dapat... Pwede naman yan. So, baka congruent din ito. Not sure. Let's move on. Iguhit ang line ng symmetry. Okay. So, 36. Ah, so, iguhit ang line of symmetry. So, parang in between. So, pag W ito, ang liit-liit naman. Ito yung line of symmetry. Yan. Ito. Yung sa middle. Ayan. Yan yung line of symmetry. Ito naman, star. Yan. Yan yung line of symmetry. Diba? Parang mirror image. Ah, sorry, hindi straight yung line ko. Ito naman, um, either way, you could go this one, or we could go sa dito sa pahiga. Yan, kasi similar siya. Ito yung star, pati patayo lang talaga, kasi pag ganyan, mali na yung ano, same sa W. So, iguhit ang kasimetry. Sa next na siguro yan. So, yung next part is iguhit ang kasimetry. Mas ba to? Pinadraw pa tayo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, nalaglag na naman ulit. Ano ba to? Okay. Ga do it ang line of symmetry. So, ganyan. Oh, ganyan. Hindi ako magaling mag-draw. May mata siya dito. Then may something na whisker. And then sa parang sa lower part niya may pakpak. Pakpak. And then... Uh, chubby chub chub ganyan and then uh, somewhere here may paa sa kabilang side pala parang ganyan diba? medyo disfigured <laughs> so, okay save with the other one um, mahirap naman pag i-copy mo siya to be exact oh my gosh oh my gosh refill na natin Parang hindi naman ito madali i-ano, isimetry. Ayan, parang ganyan, no? Ayan. Oops, malalaglag ka na naman. May pa problema mo. Okay, so, ano yun? Ito na gears. Gears dito. Ayan. So, actually, yung isang trick is, ah, uh, i-darken mo dito na side, parang ganyan, i-retrace mo, i-retrace, ganyan, i-retrace, make sure na may excess ink, at saka yung gagawin mo is, i-fold mo, i-fold mo dito sa half, at saka i-press, para yung ink na nandito, ma-spread sa kabilang side, so, yan yung best way, so, ayan, so, this is, ah, uh, This file is submitted to DepEdClub.com So shout out na lang DepEdClub.com Thank you for this uh, So this is uh, Math 3 Ay uh, katlong marka ang pagsusulit So this is DepEd Based Exam Subscribe and like to Pinoy Liit